Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, this question came a couple of times over the last um, few days. We know that uh, technically Windows 11 22H2, the next version of Windows 11, is supposed to arrive next week, possibly on Tuesday, September the 20th. And of course, if you're on the release preview in Windows 11, like me, you already have it. Uh, Windows 11 22H2, which is build 22.6.2.1. Now, the question that has been asked is how big this update is and should we, what well, should we prepare for it? Is it better to clean install if I have the same version of Windows 11 since the beginning? Um, so these questions basically, first of all, look, Windows 11 22H2 is a cumulative update. It's not a big update. So it's a few hundred megabytes. It's not that big. It installs quite fast, actually, and will add the features that Windows 11 uh, 22H2 is going to add that I'll talk about in the next uh, few days. Uh, so it's not a big update. It's not a complex update shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's not like, you know, one of those big updates that we had in Windows 10, which technically kind of almost reinstalled pretty much everything at the time. So it's uh, something that there's not much preparation, of course, you know, having your PC in order to make sure that everything is all right and not having problems is a minimum. For the rest, is it would it be better to clean install? I don't think so. If you've actually clean installed Windows 11, I don't see, and if it's going very well, I don't see why you should clean install for 22H2. Just let it go through as a cumulative update. Uh, the other question that was, if I had come from Windows 10, updated to Windows 11, and I am going to get this new update, is it better to clean install? In that one, I will answer one thing. I think that although if you go from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and it works well, probably okay. But I wouldn't say no in making sure that, you know, and like clean installing Windows 11 when you come from a Windows 10 install. Why? You know, just in case some legacy software, legacy setting that you had in Windows 10 that could technically break something is still there. Um, when you have a new operating system, it's often a good idea to clean install. Now that said, I've been clean installed here. I, I moved from Windows 10 to 11. I will move to Windows 11. Well, I have moved to Windows 11 22H2 without any glitch. So it's up to you because a clean install is a big, big asshole. And, you know, it's it's a lot of job and it takes a long time for a lot of us to do so because of everything we have to reinstall and do. So it's not an obligation, but it's not a bad idea when you come from an old system. Uh, will it be pushed? Cumulative update. So of course, technically it's going to be an optional update. So first of all, it's optional and it will come through the Windows update system. So you'll go to Windows update. It's going to show you that a new version that is supposed to be called something like Windows 11 2022 update is going to show up and it'll be an optional update. So you'll have to click download and install if you want it. And they're probably going to use the same pattern they used before. You know, seekers are going to get it first. If you don't look for it, it won't come immediately. They're going to test it out, slowly roll it out until they're sure that it actually works well. Will there be people that won't see it from the beginning? Absolutely. Like in Windows 10, every version of Windows 10, every feature update, some people don't see it immediately. It'll show up at some point. It's the same for Windows 11. That 22H2 won't be available or seen by everybody at first. It will show up gradually as they know that it's more and more secure to roll it out. So these are the main questions about what's coming next week. And of course, we'll have some coverage of that next week. We'll have, of course, hands-on videos looking at the features themselves that we'll be rolling out also uh, to make sure everybody sees and knows what's new. As there is, um, you know, there are a few things in there, but 
It's not, like I said, maybe the groundbreaking update that everybody expected for one year of Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.